Hi everyone, Tara Legacy here, Instructional Designer for Hack. This video will show you how to turn on automatic live captions for all your Zoom meetings. It's a new feature in Zoom that we just gained access to. This means students and colleagues can see everyone's words as text if they choose to. This is especially helpful if someone in your class or meeting is hard of hearing or deaf, but it's also helpful if you record these classes or meetings and share them later. Research shows that 15 to 20 percent of all users turn captions on, even though most of them are not hard of hearing in any way. Giving the options of captions helps everyone. And while these automatically created captions are not perfect, they're quite accurate and far better than nothing. They're also quite a bit better than YouTube's automatic captions, and you can edit them for accuracy after the meeting if you plan to share the recording. The first step is to log in to MyHack. Then click on Zoom Video Conferencing on the left and choose Zoom Login. At the Zoom page, click Sign In Using Your Hack Account. It should bring you automatically to the Zoom settings since you're already logged in through MyHack. Click on Settings in the list at the left side. Click on In Meeting Advanced in the middle of the page and it will bring you to the Advanced Meeting Settings. You should see a setting called Closed Captioning. You may need to scroll down a little if it isn't visible right away. That button is probably turned off, so you'll need to turn it on. A warning may pop up indicating that other settings may change because of this. Choose Enable and it should turn those on also. If the setting Enable Live Transcription Service to show transcripts on the side panel in Meeting is not automatically turned on, click the box to turn it on. You also may need to click the box under Save Captions if that isn't automatically on. That's all you need to do for you and your students or colleagues to see captions in real time. Now let's look at how it works in Zoom. Go to the Meetings tab on the left and hover over one of your upcoming or recurring meetings. Click Start. You should see a new button on the bottom of your Zoom window that says CC Live Transcript. Click it and several options will open. You want the bottom one, Enable Auto Transcription, under Live Transcript. Now, when you or anyone else in the meeting speaks, captions will appear at the bottom of the screen. Let's look at some examples. Here we go, we're going to turn our transcript on. And you can see here, we enable the auto transcription and you should start to see our subtitles on the bottom, uh, which are automatically created. They move pretty quickly, however. Click the small up arrow next to the live transcript button. The top option lets you hide the subtitles, which can be useful if they're distracting. Note that this only hides your captions, not all the other participants' captions. If you want to stop their captions, you'll need to click the live caption button again and choose to disable the auto transcription that we previously enabled. The second option under that arrow says view full transcript. Clicking this button lets you see the transcript for the entire meeting since you turned on the live captions. It shows who said what and is searchable in the window at the top. You can also save the transcript as a text file using the button at the bottom. If you want the entire transcript, make sure to save it before you turn off live captions or end the meeting. If you want to close the transcript, you can either go back to the arrow and choose Close Full Transcript, or just click the arrow at the top of the transcript window and choose Close. Once you've turned on live captions, all the other participants can also choose to show or hide the subtitles and the full transcript, and they can also save the transcript. For this reason, you may want to turn off live captions if you're going to discuss information that you don't want easily shared outside of the class, like answers to quiz questions that other classes haven't yet taken. If you click the arrow on the Live Captions button one more time, you'll see the Subtitle Settings option at the bottom. Click that and it will let you change the size of the captions. You may want to explain to participants how to hide the subtitles and how to view the full transcript if they haven't used this function before, or give them the link to this video. If you recorded your meeting, Zoom can also create a transcript for you. Make sure you've enabled either local recording or cloud recording or both in your Zoom settings. Cloud recording is a better choice because it won't take up room on your computer and you don't need to worry about the VPN slowing the conversion time. 
The college has a large amount of storage space, so that shouldn't be a problem. However, the cloud recordings are auto-deleted after 60 days, so you need to upload to YouTube before then. If you really want to record locally, you should save to your Downloads folder. That's one of the few places that is truly local and doesn't redirect through the VPN. Saving somewhere else will result in very long conversion times. If you do record locally, the file won't be backed up anywhere, so you should also upload to YouTube as soon as possible, just in case. If you plan to use cloud recording, make sure to check the box that says Audio Transcript. Now, whether you record locally or to the cloud, it will create a text file that has the transcript. Go to your Recordings tab in your Zoom settings. If you recorded to the cloud, there should be several files that you can download, depending on your recording settings. If you click on them, it shows a video file and a transcript, and an audio file also if you chose that option. If you click on the audio transcript, it will probably ask what program you want to open it with. The file format is VTT, which stands for Video Text Track. You'll likely need a text-only program like Notepad to see it, so choose a program like this. You'll see it's a text file and also has the timings built in. If you upload your video to YouTube, you can now upload this VTT file and it will automatically sync with your video. You can either edit it before uploading or after in order to ensure words and spelling are correct. If you saved locally, you'll need to click on Local Recordings in your Zoom settings. If you click Open, it will open the folder on your computer where those files are saved. Like the cloud recording, you'll see several files. The MP4 is the full video file with audio, though it doesn't show the subtitles over your video. The TXT file is the caption file. Unlike the cloud recording VTT file, this can be opened in Word and almost every other word processing program. Again, you can edit it before uploading to YouTube or after. Please share this information in this video so that everyone can take advantage of this new feature. Remember that it will help all your students, not just those who are hard of hearing. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, contact me or someone else on the CDI team.